Hey uh, folks, Quilly King here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3 as the Sikh Empire. Wow, fun job. Well, the uh, Socialist Republic Punjab, I suppose. <laughs> Um, this is, a, this is a very intense flag we've got going on. In the uh, last few years of the gameplay here, we're just sort of trying different things and see what happens. Um, oh yeah, the illegitimate government, but we're about to get an election, which is going to be good. Um, and uh, this sometimes I leave myself little notes in the save game name. Uh, this save game name was Attack Delhi. So I think, uh, I think I may have wanted myself to go in a, an Attack Delhi over here. Picking up these iron mines and logging mines and finally taking a crack at the British Raj since Great Britain is currently occupied. Wait. Right. Assuming this starts off, which I don't know if they can still back down or not. Why is it still escalation is coming? It clearly must be happening now. The countdown timer is over. There you go. Okay, America versus Great Britain is basically what it is. There's Egypt, and then, of course, there's all of, uh, oh, my God. Wait, no. Is Canada in on this? No, they're not. Oh, is it because it's a Dominion, they're not required to jump in? That's probably it. Okay, because otherwise the U.S. would run all over this, although the U.S. can... Yeah, that's a valid border. I wasn't sure with some of the water. It looks like they're in... Yeah, I guess they're as well. Okay. Oh, and all here. We can see all the glowing bits. All right, so there's lots of interaction there. Um, the big question mark will be whether... Wow, oh, there's still a little nation here. Whether the United States will cross over and do some engagements overseas. Uh... They've got a few holdings in Africa that border Great Britain. Okay. Well, here's hoping they're going to keep each other real busy for a real long time. Because we're we're going to continue with plan, kind of be a little bit stupid here. And we are going to attempt to conquer Delhi. Confirm. Let's check our general status. Oh, we do need some new generals. Bigoted matter for us? Just as a leader, right? Um, gives us a boost to offense. Minus zero morale cap. That's weird. Alright, I'll recruit you. And this will need a leader as well. You know I love to be offensive, so we're gonna grab the offensive leader. You are gonna get promoted to the max, please. There's no way to, like, hold shift or anything for this, is there? Is there a reason not to? I, I feel like I want these armies to be as big as possible. It feels like what success we've been having is as a result of this. Looks like we could use another one in this one. And I don't know if we're going to be fighting a mountain so much over here, but sure, why not? Oh, are you actually running fewer troops? Is it because you're cautious? Oh, cautious is reduced command limit. Oh, all right, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. All right, mobilize all. Boom. And... Offense plenty good. We'll put most of them on the big front. You know what? Maybe I'll we'll put another one. Yeah, so we got two on the Lhasa Pegu, and the rest on uh, Pushtanistan. Okay. Well, much of these trade route situations are probably going to change in a second here. Maybe I won't bother until the war sort of breaks out. I'm sure the numbers are going to change. All right, so yeah, obviously Great Britain being involved in this, um, but the hope is that they are also going to be... Oh, there we go. We need to do our politics change. Well, contested government 62. Do we have a... Sh oh, 96. Well, there we go. We'll go with this. For sure. I don't think I'm going to do any law changes while we're dipping into a pretty major war here. Um, okay, that kept us notorious. Yeah, we're not a pariah, which is important. Now, 
any sway. No, that's too bad. Would have been great if we could have officially brought the US in on this, but hey, as long as they're hopefully keeping the the ook, the, the GBs busy somewhere else, that's gonna be good. Yeah, okay, we got a front here, we got a front here. I guess, oh, this is the same front. How did, I don't know how they determine these. I guess based on the region that you're fighting in, these are both in the same region. Still seems a little odd. Like conceptually, these look like two fronts, but I guess presumably our troops are spread out on, on both of these in this region. Okay, money's still super positive right now, although I'm sure this is gonna dramatically change once the war kicks in. Yeah, I was gonna say, our construction here is probably coming to a halt, but I might wanna keep it that way. Just because. rubber for that let's do this um ah yeah keep the construction at halt because we're gonna our money is gonna go super negative in a second here so let's go and accrue a little bit all right the war is about to kick off we've got a positive ratio in both places uh so the brits have shown up with some troops but not very many and yeah when you when you take i think the the western oh oh i do have a log going on right now when you take, I think, these powers and say the U.S. out of the equation, I think our tech situation is much, much, much better here. Um, I'm sorry, that's a lot of defense. I thought those numbers were wildly in our favor a second ago. Well, they should be. I guess it's the average... I don't get it. Hold on. Anglo-Indian morale is zero. So we have morale. They don't. Except here they have morale. What? Because, okay, look at these numbers. Look at these numbers. Look at this number. What the? Why do those displays not match? That's weird. Okay. I thought there was only two fronts. One, I'm confused. Oh, no, this battle is from this front over here. Weird that they're both in the same area. I'm, yeah, more than a little confused, but we'll see. Okay, over here, look, so, that first battle was lost. Sure, fair. Here, we're going in again. Again, our stats should be much better. I guess it's really gonna depend on which armies come into this. There we go. Now that push is working. Okay. No idea what was going on in that first battle. Boom, boom, boom. No landings over here, which is good. I was worried about that. Um, yeah, lots of fighting going on over here. Hopefully we can do a quick, now the problem is the war leader is Great Britain. Despite the fact that we, you know, sort of would, you know, have liked to declare on the British Raj so that we could take their capital. Okay, Great Britain embargoing us, that's fine. We're not, um, we're not losing our convoys currently. Oh, well, maybe, maybe we're starting, I don't know. Um, probably because the British are busy with their Navy somewhere else. Um, we have a different front here, the Delhi front. Let me take one of these armies and assign you to the Delhi front. Um, we have a decent amount of defense. I actually wonder if we just want to... We have arrived. 
Although, yeah, we're not participating. Um, let me do that. And then over here, let me just check our fronts here. Okay, we've got troops on all four fronts. More fronts are opening up. That's going okay. This is where we're going to get pushed back, but we're not actually involved in that battle. Here we're pushing forward. Here we're pushing forward. Another battle. The Shogunate improving things. All right. Money is still wickedly positive, which I wasn't expecting. But I'm happy to take it. Submarine unlocked. All right. And their war support is dropping very quickly. I'm still worried that we're not... Although, are we going to grab... So we get the war goal. Maybe we don't need the capital since we're going to have the war goal. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, all these trade routes. Um, I guess I'll cancel these for now. We'll probably have to recreate them. These ones that are idle, let's not stress about it. Um, they're costing us bureaucracy, I think, still, but otherwise not using anything. My flotilla... Wait. Do you not have admirals? Oh, my God. Um, you and you both have expert in your name. That sounds pretty good. We go bring up to 40, which is as many ships as I've got. Bring you up to 40. Good. Patrolling Persia, patrolling North India. Okay. Uh, yeah. We need a, a bigger alert for that, I think, than we had. These do get really clustered. Line for spark. Expand power plants event. Oh, and great A's. Well, that's the pollution, right? Yeah. I don't think I want to spend the money. Although, okay. Good job pollution concern. Where do we check the pollution of a state? It's got devastation. Oh, are we still running? Policies here. Road maintenance is probably still fine. Information? Industry, your expensive turmoil infrastructure. Oh my god, there's too many numbers. If there's something in here, I'm going to miss it. I just know it. Maybe pollution is like turmoil. It doesn't show up in this list here until there's a problem. Or, yeah, it's somewhere and I just haven't seen it. We're going to continue to bury our heads in the sand and pretend pollution's totally not a problem. Power or steam turbine progress. Steam turbines... Um, right. Coal-fired power plant, which you don't need. It leads to oil turbines, which is good. For now, I'll just go unlimited power. Um, because I, I think the game is going to end before we really get to take advantage of those techs here. But if we take a look at the power plant, what's the situation like over here? Okay, power's relatively cheap and engine price is reasonable. So if more things wanted to use power, they could. We need we need another level of like production. I guess diesel pumps, but we don't have access to oil, so that's not going to be it. Um yeah. I mean, this would use some power here, but it just cost the money right now and the whole iron thing is no good. Um what about with urbanization? I would make money. Eat up a bunch of transportation, free up some laborers, maybe. But I'm thinking electric streetlights. That's going to tank the price of coal and give us more possibilities. It's going to tank the price of services, although this may still turn out profitable. Price of electricity shoots up, but I'm kind of okay with that. The price of services is nothing, so... Okay, that's freed up some coal. I wonder what that means for us. It's gonna free up some workers we could do in some states, which is kind of enticing. What about our steel mills?
So open hearth process and Bessemer process. I mean, both of them take in 90 um, raw goods and produce 90 goods, right? And, or sorry, they, they produce the same. This is 120 for 120. So the ratio on these two stay the same. The difference is um, this one here, it's one coal to two iron as opposed to one coal for three iron. Right now we have more iron than coal. So if I pull back on this, well, that's actually just going to go from iron is insanely expensive to in, iron is basically free. Um, if I just change one of you over here, there you go. That will get rid of the shortage of iron. Thought it would. Maybe it will end updates. Or maybe the iron's being used somewhere else. Tell you what, I'm gonna switch everything over. Uh, oh yeah, well, there we go. I say we must have a lot of iron mills somewhere, or steel mills somewhere. All right, if we bring these down a little bit more. So iron is still insanely expensive, but we no longer have a shortage of it for whatever that might be worth. All right. Meanwhile, wartime. Vulnerable front, Ashton Rajputana front. Where do we have two troops in Delhi? Move you. Here. Now sometimes these fronts like recollapse quite quickly, but I mean still it's okay. The troops move. Um. Yeah, that's a lot, and they are advancing. I was gonna say, I might want to change these guys to be strictly on defense so we don't attack. Although theoretically, they will be attacking faster here on the basis that um, there is more of them. But yeah, if we can take advantage of our defensive traits, although, yeah, there we go. Good, 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 good. And then they can just expend themselves a little bit here. Another unprotected front. Again, those may be forming and collapsing again. Yeah, um, let's grab one of you and put you here. I think that's exactly what's happening. So some troops are being shuffled around a bit, which isn't ideal. Okay, we still have tons of money. I really could go and build more. I, I'm just worried about being a little distracted doing war here. You're losing money if... Uh, I'm actually quite surprised about that. Your average wage isn't even that high compared to some of the other industries. I guess you could use a discount to steal, or we could just use more engines. I mean, one of the places I know we can use engines is in the power plants. Oh, power's very expensive. There you go. Well, let's build 10 more of those. All right. Um, We haven't actually taken that much territory. And actually, did we lose some of Delhi again? Over here, we have a disadvantage. Do we? On the Delhi front? Well, we don't have many troops, that's true. Our defense number is theoretically quite high, and these are actual British troops, so that's part of it. So I think I'm going to move you to just be on the defense on the Delhi front, especially since they're advancing over there. Now, tell me, Great Britain, you're still in war against, I mean, it's Egypt, but America. Um, no. I think they're pieced out of that. Oh, now that's, that's an issue. Okay. Oil has been discovered in Luriston. In Persia. See again, why do we have vassals? Because that's not going to be helpful for us. Oh! Sweet! Success! Oh my god! Okay. Listen, Delhi, I'm going to give you some emergency relief. Because for some reason you're cranky about us conquering you. I don't know why. You still have tons of unemployed. But I'll tell you what, you're going to get lots of jobs. Because we're going to go max out logging and iron camps. Maybe there would have been a better order there. And I'm, of course there's going to be some devastation over here. Um, here, we'll start an incorporation, but it's not going to finish before the end of the game. We lead to a deficit five years. It's close, actually. Hold on. Let me hit that button. Um, trade routes. Input good shortages. Hardwood. Electricity, but it's going to be fine. These inactive trade routes, I think, will stick in. Oh, we might still be getting embargoed here. That's entirely possible. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this change. It's only 5% tax weights. It's actually not as bad as it could be. I mean, I'm still going to want to fix it. But it's kind of surprising. Um, we're going to build a bunch in Delhi. Um, I don't know if I care about the order. How bad of a devastation debuff are we getting? Minus 95% right now. Okay, that is real bad. And I think it's because not just turmoil, but also the devastation. Oh, the turmoil is at 80 Four percent. Oh, okay. That's pretty bad. Um, let me cancel in Punjab. Let's cancel the road maintenance. And over here we will. Oh, I don't think I can't crack down over here. Yeah, because of my laws. I mean, I'm going to do a bunch of construction there so I can do this, but I suppose what I should do is just use my construction queue to build other things first. What I'll do is I'll let the power plants finish, then I'll alt-click some stuff in front of it. I mean, I guess we're getting some production on these logging cams right now. So maybe I should alt-click some stuff now. All right, let's take a look at our market and figure out... Well, first of all, we might be able to export some stuff. We got tons of fabric. There we go. And can't export services. We do still have grain. We can do a couple export... Oh, wait, I have no uh, bureaucracy. Okay, so we'll wait on that. Um, price of iron is still ridiculously high. And yeah, we fixed the... Um, well, no, we fixed the iron a little bit. Do we, you know what? I'm just going to change everything to Bessemer process. Or whatever. I'm going to go down globally on all our steel mills. Yeah, to Bessemer as opposed to open hearth. Because I think it might have been lying about some of these prices here. Yeah, this did not tank the price of steel in the expected way. Or iron, despite the fact that we're using less iron. We are producing less steel as well. Yeah, we're definitely... Okay, we no longer have the iron shortage. I mean, that was sort of already the case, but... Some things are still expensive. Rubber still continues to be a problem. Uh, declare interests... I think, I think we've declared interest everywhere that's got rubber. Like, I think that'll be all those places. And I think the problem is there's still just no import for it. Um, rubber, we have no ability to build rubber plantations. We can get a little from the American market. Again, we have no bureaucracy, but theoretically... I don't know. I guess maybe I should in um, Punjab itself. Let me build five more here, although we're not getting a stacking balance or anything like that, but we'll get a few more in here at the front of the queue. Again, the power plants are still being built at the fine rate because of the speed here. But yeah, we'll try to get this a little bit better, which is already improving currently. In Delhi, the terminal is dropping pretty quick, actually. Although you abandoned Ottoman Empire. Communications, improve relations with the United States. Yeah, that sounds really handy. We want that. Political agitation unlocked. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Minimum expected standard of living from literacy. So yeah, as people get literacy, they want higher standard of living. Uh, oh, yes. Um, absolutely. Change to a feminist ideology, which means now we should finally have someone who supports these laws... There we go. And we may have already... Rural folk and intelligentsia, yeah. I think we already did. I could have probably started that a bit sooner. But let's do this. Yeah, call for women's suffrage. It's going to be done. We're going to enact it. And then there's going to be an election. And that will all be passed. And it's about damn time. Oh yeah, money's going up quite quickly. Taxes are minimum. No consumption taxes. Government wages are still low. But I don't think that's been really a problem. 
poor, poor little exclave over there. Ah, deal with it. I love to troll the AI like that and create some border gore. I think this, I think Victoria 3 has a disconnected state modifier. It's never applied. I don't think I've ever noticed it, but I think I've read that it's a thing that existed. But I'm not sure. Okay, we're building and the money's going up like crazy. All right, then. Well, these things might need some mode changes. What we still need is more coal. Ports from, from America. Again, bureaucracy, blah, blah, blah. But it's getting better. It's fine. Yeah, no, we... Oh, protest must be heard. Like, we're totally cool with it. We're working on it. Although, I mean, I guess they're still going to pro... You know, we're trying to pass a bill, but they have to prote protest against the opposition. Makes sense. All right, logging camp's kicking in. Oh, that's great. Where's the sugar? Textile mills. Um, yeah, we could probably go full sewing machines here. That will actually tank the price of clothing. Although, yeah, we can't do elastics. Make sure everyone's on craftsman sewing. I know there was like some mixed results there, but that's gonna have to be okay. It consumes more wood. Oh, hang on. If we switch to lathes, it'll use less wood. We just generate less furniture. The price will go up like crazy. I don't know if any of our states have a problem with unemployment currently. Okay, I'll go here, recognizing the price of furniture is gonna go up, but maybe what we'll do is we'll just build more furniture workshops, different mo or I could maybe change a little bit of the modes. Yeah, you have... No hardwood. Standardize on middle ground here. Just get annoyed with the double arrow thing. I mean, it's probably stupid, but that's the way we're going to do it. Not make any cars. But yeah, we don't have any oil, so I can't go to bolt action rifles. And this has to be mixed because we're trying to balance out things. Um. Drop some more wood. Once we get those new iron mines on board, we're going to be able to increase. Um, increase our steel production. Without raising our coal consumption. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's going to tank the price of services. But that is good for our people. And then we can keep this a little bit more balanced by building more electricity, which I'm kind of in favor of. Kills the price of silk. All right, that's decent money. We, um, sugar, if we did build more sugar, that would be one of the things I think that would enable certain mode switches. That's profitable. Okay, we don't have enough engines. What we're in need is, let me go into this mode for it, um, motor industry. I'm not going to start in Delhi right now, but gonna, oops, alt click, 10 more in Punjab. You got lots of workers. You're going to get the stacking efficiency, should be okay. Shortage of electricity, which this is still just an issue. I didn't think I'd have a shortage shortage, but I guess I did change some modes. Yeah, no, that's pretty bad. Can't I see the power? And then near the bottom here? Oh, oh there it is. One, two, three, four. Five, 
Um, I guess some private industry built it. Let's just get some nice multiples of five because it's going to feel good. And yeah, we can spread it out a little bit because then we get to um, min max our modes a little. Success chance. Oh, did we really get a little fail? We'll risk a little violence. Extra rallies. Plus 20% chance. Uh, but there's a chance it could go down, which I don't want. I just want a flat increase in the odds of it succeeding. We still have tons of money. And culturally, I mean, we still can't do the nation forming because we don't have anywhere near enough India. We had to do multiple claims. We would had to do this war many times. But other than maybe a window at the start when it was still the East India Company, um, since it became the British Raj, we were really in kind of a sticky situation there. We're trying to keep an eye on Great Britain. I mean, we might have missed some other time when they were in a major war. And even this, like, well, maybe we could just beat them straight up. Like, you know, they the, the war that they were fighting the US in ended surprisingly quick. What I'd really like to do is annex you. The problem is... Well, we still wouldn't become a pariah. Maybe we'd be okay? Is, are there any modes? Okay, yeah, I still feel like I can't do this, because yeah, we don't have oil. It would actually be a war for oil. Oh, and we inherited some conscription centers. Um. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be ready for what might turn out to be a big final war. So even though I think it's generally bad for economy and yada yada yada, we're going to go ahead and max out these modes. Yeah, let me do this, because we can consume more transportation, uh, which might give us a few other mode options. I can't even get rid of this exclamation mark at all. Mode is in. War beneath the waves is completed. Oh, because of our submarines! Convoy rating efficiency. Well, I think mostly we want defense. Ooh, destroyer. Con yeah, let's go ahead and get the tech for destroyers. That seems fine. Automatic machine gun is being researched. That's going to be useful as well. Which we're going to want to be able to switch to that mode, actually. That's going to be massive. And then, yeah, go ahead and just finish the destroyers, because you're basically there. These are all tier 5. Are they still super expensive? They're pretty expensive. Although, once we finish these two tier 4s, we'll see. Because I think it's based on how many of the previous thing you didn't do. I don't know if you need to get every single last one for the price to become reasonable. I don't quite know the mechanic. Hopefully, we get this to tick through here. Bingo! All right. More work face force ratio is going to be great. And as I've said before, it's just the right thing to do. So, of course, we want that. Um, we could have full workers' protections. I, mean, I don't know. We we'll get some radicalization. We get this. We got that. Russian army. Liberties. Uh, graduated taxation would... Predicted to increase our money, huh? Although, aren't we going to enter into the problem, well, if we went full communist, that we're, we're going to be losing some of our high-ranked positions? This theoretically will increase our revenue. It's going to radicalize a couple of people, but they're still marginalized. Trade unions love it. Income-based. Yeah, mostly targeting dividends, but... I'm wondering if that's going to backfire on us as... Chinese aristocratic revolt. Okay. I mean, all these revolutions have actually been shot down, like, instantly. Super defense. Over offensive planners. And... Oh yeah, it keeps happening where it's over here and we can't reach it. And then it just pieces out and nothing happens every time. I was gonna say I could do a naval landing, but I don't think my navy's big enough to carry an army over. My armies are all too big. Fixation. This is 
quite good. Because I think we end up with a lot of extra fertilizer, or at least the option of it. Okay, that's going to shoot up the price of fertilizer and tank the price of grain, but... Should be on slaughterhouse mode. Oh, some more coffee going in here. Oh, and opium. Missed that one. Dude, lose just because of the silk cost, but I'm wondering if we could do a change in our clothing manufacturers to take advantage of that. Okay, we don't have as many millet farms. Let's do this just because it's a less dramatic change. Um, no, we can't actually change how much silk we're using. This is the same amount of silk. It's unless we build more textile mills, but... And then, right, you can go nitrogen fixation process, which requires oil. And more sulfur, which we don't have. Input goods, electricity. Nope. Oh, we're about to finish a ton of power plants. So we'll take a look at that. Expensive military is still rubber, and yeah, we don't have any way of doing anything about that. We still have the bureaucracy shortage. In theory, at some point, we'll go ahead and get those hooked up in, um, in Delhi here. Let me queue up, like, three at the top here. We still need the iron mines as well. Automatic machine guns. Okay, that's huge. Right here. Because of the kill rate. is actually stupendous. So we're gonna need more ammunition and more small arms. So yeah, I still can't go to bolt action rifle. Um, what we can do is mess with more of these modes. Let's let that sit there, and then yeah, ammunition. I'll click a couple. The ones in Punjab are at the bottom of the list. It's weird, because shouldn't the revolution be kind of untouched over here in Formosa? So we want to find out here if... Four years? No, these are still pretty expensive to research, so we probably want some more tier 4 techs. I guess I'll be the concrete dockyard. I mean, it's still two years to do. I don't know. We'll just queue up a bunch of military techs after. It's not actually going to matter. Because the game's going to be over by then. Okay, so we've done the mode changes that we can do. Man of Wars. And with the declared interest. Actually, the, the, the um, declared interest thing is very annoying. Did I get my bureaucracy by doing this, or was it... Something else just changed. Maybe those buildings changed and the bureaucracy's fixed. All right, because I want to start the war with Persia. That'll be our that'll be our last hurrah. I think this is my third time saying it's our last hurrah, but this time, for reals. So we might take a huge hit because a bunch of people are going to be getting involved here. Uh, you're in a war. Oh, look at France. Well, that's good news. All right. We're going to try to annex you. Mobilize all generals. Boom. 
Right now, there's just the one front. I don't even know if they all need to be here. Uh, you're the defense expert. I'll tell you what. You be on defense on this front. Offensive planner. Offensive planner. Oh, another defender. Now leave the other ones chilling. I mean, I may, I could have just not that uh, mobilized them at all, but we're going to go with this. Now, it's a primary demand, so if they back down, we just annex them instantly. Which could happen if they don't get anyone on their side, because they've got no troops. And they haven't brought in any countries yet. This might be a non-issue. Wouldn't that be swell? People's Revolution is about to kick in. There you go. Stamp out monarchism successfully completed. People's Revolution completed. Pause. Uh, workers' punch up has finally overthrown the bourgeois government and established council republic. There's still far more work to be done before socialism can be truly achieved. Reduce suppression impact. I don't think we're suppressing anyone right now. State and revolution, five-year plan, all power to the councils. Our revolution. Oh, trade unions. Trade union. We'll always select vanguardists. We'll always success communists. Anarchists. Let's go communism. Persia, back down. Yeah, baby. Okay. So, the good news for that is there's oil in them there, Hills. Um, I'll just shift-click these. They're still going to have turmoil, but that'll have to be it. Um, I think sulfur prices were still... Oh, yeah. Iron? The max? Oh, shit. There's a bunch more coal mines over here. They, like, they never developed any of this shit. And it's like, well... What the hell, man? You know? Last Marcus. Oh, fully maintained Republic form of government many years. Few who still remember the old monarchy with fondness put the past behind us. Landowners are going to lose ideologies. Oh, no harm in nostalgia. No, no, yeah, we can put that past behind them. Okay, money is huge. We have tons of freaking uh, institution strength now. Here, tell you what, we'll go and uh, climb this again. Lots of turmoil, which can be expected. I don't know what to do now. That was freakishly easy. I mean, I can't start a war here because we got a truce. I could see what the what Russia has to say, but I mean, we still have a lot of infamy, so I think it's probably fine to not start something right now because we'd probably have some problems. Keep trying to improve things with France to just stop them from butting in everywhere. Oh, we have more coast as well now. Uh, so we'll plan on. Um, actually, should I do my ports first? Yeah. Max out our ports. And then we'll have all the naval bases available. Okay, so our construction queue is huge. We'll probably be alt-clicking some at the front. Um, as I say, we built too many government administrations, although a bunch of these are tax... You know, I'll cancel that one too. Are, I think, for taxing in Delhi. You know what? I mean, we'll want more munitions, but we're going to want some raw resources first. That's going to help things. Yeah. Hmm. So the um, the vassalize and then annex move is quite powerful in EU4. It's super good in Stellaris, where it's like, no, it's tr it's actually too powerful um, and very effective. I think it's quite poor here in Victoria 3. Although, maybe not, because, I mean, conquering land is quite poor in Victoria 3 as well, right? Like, because half the time when you're a powerful nation, the target just backs down and all you get is the primary thing. Although you can tweak that a little bit. First election. Uh, feminist ideology, which either way, because, I mean, they, it shouldn't matter because they have max out rights now. So, yeah, sure. There we go. 
I mean, like, I would have taken it anyway, but I think it's a moot decision. Because we have full suffrage. But I guess it means those groups won't want to regress. So that's good. All right. Um, reform government, 100% if we go rural folk and armed forces. Sure. That seems fine. Oh. Shit, that wasn't the election one. You dummy. That was, there's an election happening. For a second there, it said there was like no construction. Oh. Oh, you guys are, yeah. Hang on, we're gonna have to maybe alt-click some stuff at the front. Tell you what, since you guys are still cranky, well, I guess I could get the ports and send. We're not ports, the naval bases in Bulukistan and Sindh, because there's no penalty there. But I think that's gonna happen instead. Because we're gonna want more iron, although we can just upgrade their modes too. I think we're gonna want more power plants. I'm going to alt-click 15 power plants in, in uh, Delhi. Put it at the front of the list. Now, as the terminal drops and these others, things are going to become better. Oh, yeah, power is still super-duper expensive. Okay. Uh, we are going to need more motor industry, apparently, to provide that as well, but I'm going to cancel the emergency relief and the road maintenance over here. In fact, I might do some emergency relief in, like, couple of these provinces on the coast. Um, okay, okay, okay. You seem to have a lot of people. And maybe you... Oh, oh, that was the other thing, too, is probably incorporation costs. Right, and I forgot I could look at the, um, uh, the population over here. Oh, I didn't realize this would start scrolling. That's slightly annoying. I, these weren't going to finish. So why would I even bother? They're not going to finish before the game ends. All right. Um, we have so much money. We do have a lot of rebellion. Tell you what, let's improve our government rages, just to say, and then we'll drop taxes a level. We'll probably still be making tons of money. Oh, there we go. All right. Kind of a balanced budget here. I mean, these government wages did account for a lot. Oh, we have tons of unpinned things. Telephone, public transit, auto machine guns. And we're not in a war. How come we don't have a full percentage? Oh, because we probably went and picked up some, um, some extra barracks. That makes sense. From our conquest here. here just to get rid of the exclamation mark. Oh, yes, let's go to destroyers here. Okay, industrial port, we're gonna need some more steamers. Uh, I'm not gonna subsidize any railroads anymore. All right, power plants coming online is good. Convoys going negative. Means of production. Workers, West Bank, Afghanistan, running successful cooperative tea plantations. They're happy, plus 100% loyalists. Or more migrant attraction. I don't know, happy worker? Finally burned this letter. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, reduced... Reduced momentum to the fascist party seems like a great idea. That seems like an excellent, brilliant idea that we're going to follow on that. Our revolution. We need level five... Oh, everything. Oh, for five years, which we can't get to at the end of the game anyway. Okay. And then the oil rigs here is just build it. Which, I mean, theoretically is going to happen once their turmoil drops. We do have a queue full of things. 229 weeks. This number should go down, though. Because this turmoil is going to drop. So right now, it is apocalyptic. Um... Oh, trade unions aren't aren't in the government right now. Maybe when the election happens, we'll bring them in. Grand plan pays off. And the scenes, all his work's paid off for the armed forces. Momentum for the patriarchs? Or... 
I guess we'll do that. I mean, we don't care about the loan interest. Our reserve total could go up higher, which might be good because apparently we're banking stuff right now. All right, Communist Party, way ahead. So yeah, do a big reform. That's going to bring the trade unionists in, which is the thing that makes sense to me. Um, and then you're going to support old age pension. So what the hell? That's insanely expensive. And I'm not sure that the game really benefits from it. I mean, I think it can help with um, with radicals because I think it can improve um, standard living. But yeah, this costs so much money. But sure. We've got a nice big nation now, which feels good. Um, right, we can't politely annex you, right? Because... Because isn't there a thing where we have to have the same basic vibe? Isn't there a way to like friendly, like, maybe if we improve relations with you, tell you what, let's improve relations with Tibet. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen quickly enough, but in theory, we'll get that started. Maybe it enables a different menu option. I felt like there was something, but was it not possible because we don't share a culture? Although maybe we do share a culture in this case. I don't know. Tibet's damaging relations. I mean, could you not? Fine, you know what? How much infamy is this going to give me? Oh, 1205, it's not even going to make me a pariah? There. Deal with it. We're going to get the defense specialist. And offense specialist. Mobilized over here. If no one joins you, you're just going to GG out. And then we'll actually control your industry. Again, I think they have plans. Oh, wow, this is a double long episode. Um, does it end January 1st, 36 or January 1st, 37? Can I just keep going as a final episode? Sure, let's just go. Um, I think the devs have plans to give you more ability to um, invest in other nations. I think that's one of the things coming with 1.3. There, there were some dev diaries that mentioned it, but... I, uh, I only gleaned it in passing, and I don't remember. Um, but I think that's part of the idea. Second success chance. Okay, that's fine. Some of the interest groups. Wow, all the interest groups that are not marginalized absolutely love me. The bourgeoisie could be improved a little bit. Well, no, I mean, it's got the maximum value, which doesn't even matter because we don't have any loans. But it could, it could have a bigger margin. Enact protected speech. Don't we have, like... Oh, we don't have full protected speech. Well, maybe we'll look at that next. Anyway, are you going to back down? Because I'm assuming you're going to back down. You really should. Did we not mobilize enough troops? Well, wow, North Tibet has broken out. All right. Hey. Did I not move my defender on here? I mean, I guess he doesn't need to be there. But I'll just... I'll do it anyway. Yeah, you're gonna get absolutely obliterated, buddy. Like, we didn't have to fight. Convoys. Machine gun expert. Until the end of the game! So now I'm really annoyed at this. Anglo-Indian Punjab. It's part of Punjab as well. Oh shit, yeah, I should have really gone for that. But... Um, Because it's going to interrupt our name from being as big as it possibly can. Unless it'll go across because it's the exclave. I don't know. I don't know how the uh, font system will deal with that. Because obviously bigger name is, uh, is our goal. It's always a goal in Paradox games, right? Still the wicked shortage of steel. I mean, I can just import a little for now. Our production, our, our construction queue is pretty... Pretty intense. Is bring well, 
bring in a few goodies. That last dude is really holding out. I mean, I know it's you know, more than just one. You know, failed defense. I mean, they should collapse really quickly. I guess, yeah, if I brought more attackers, then there would be more speed on the advance in the front. But it's pretty quick. It's quite the rule for Oh, yeah, they'll support us. Where are we at now? 71%. Come on, just GG out of this, man. I do like the way that our flag looks on the map here. It's very obvious. Um, again, it's like... These last few just refuse to give up. Wonder if we might still have some debuffs going on in our troops from like the the changes. Our defensive planner, yeah, offense, surprise maneuver chance. That's pretty good. I mean, they do have decent defense. I mean, this is all mountain terrain. Old age pension. All right. So what we'll do is we'll plan on maxing that out because sure. And yeah, um, where's the speech thing? Right of assembly. We'll go full protected speech. That sounds good. Uh, money's dropping. I think a bunch of it is the old age pensions, which is only about to get worse. Although we're still fighting a war as well. We'll bring our taxes back up to the middle of the road. go my man just 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 give up they're having a little bit of uprising internally I mean this is gonna be more just like heavily turmoil territory it might be January 1st we actually might not finish this war before the end of the game which is more than a little annoying like yeah, can we can we increase the push timers? I think they're working on I think they've already released screenshots, haven't they? Of like a different um screen here. For war mobilization. Oh, this might this might be the end. Whoa, what's going on with Germany? Ottomans? High uprising. Anyone on the Ottoman side? No, just Brunei. Okay. Hmm. Probably going to turn out badly for the Ottomans. Yeah, they're at zero. As soon as we take their capital, and definitely would be the capital for this, for the annexation, uh, they would almost certainly be just done with it. There's the end of the game! Uh, I'm sorry I didn't take Tibet sooner. I should have declared war on them sooner. I mean, there's a lot of things we could have done sooner, but overall, okay, I am happy with how much we had going on in our nation. I'm disappointed that we never got recognized, so we could never go up in terms of uh, ranking. Yeah, we're limited to number 11 on the world. That's as high as we could possibly go being unrecognized. Um, our GDP had just gone burr over here. I wonder what this dip was. Probably one of the horrific wars against, like, Great Britain or the United States or something like that. Standard living. I mean, didn't go crazy, but I, I don't know. I wonder how this compares to other things. Average standard living is 15.9. So this this line here might be 15. No, no, because there's more than there's fewer than 15 divisions. It might have been 14 or 13 and a half or something. So yeah, I don't know what the our actual thing. I guess we could continue playing and we could take a look at more of those numbers. Hang on. Let's do that. Um. There we go. Oh, yeah. So our end started standard living 13.7, which I think would have been better. Upper strata f struggling, right. So I, d I still don't know what it's like to go into a fully um, communist nation. We'll have to do a run at some point where we do that, where you end up with like zero people in the upper strata anymore. Because that does seem very interesting. I just kind of want to let it play until Tibet GG's out so we can see what our, um, our end map sort of kind of would have looked like with the British Raj in here. And yeah, um, prestige. So I guess this is sorted by prestige. So in order of prestige, we would have been sixth. We had more prestige than France, a bigger GDP than France. 
Holy shit, yeah. I mean, we clearly would have been a, one of the major powers if we could get recognized. Um, and probably the best thing for us to do here now would be to go and beat up Russia, actually. Do a war for recognition versus Russia. That would have been that would have been the thing. That would have been the only target. Still, I'm I I lost. I was so disheartened when we kind of did a, a dumb YOLO, right? We 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 spent a lot of effort in maybe a way that wasn't very helpful to go and vassalize China, and then to have it disintegrate and thus not to have ownership over the subparts was very frustrating. I I, I lost a lot of. A lot of mood, a lot of enthusiasm when that happened. Um, there you go. So there's our final thing. Yes, your name being pushed aside by the stupid little British Raj entry. Um, but I am at the point where I think I would have been confident fighting more wars directly against Great Britain as is. And yeah, if we were, I was to play a Steak again, um, I think there's a lot you could do differently at the start for more tempo. Um, and definitely, we did we did have to lose a little bit of ground. Well, part of it is. Things went a little bit bad when we were forced to GG out of some wars that against some major powers that, uh, and, and some of it happened because we generated a million, um, a million, uh, what's it called? Let's say no notoriety, but. Oh, infamy, a million infamy with like our war, especially against China. That was like, was it like 150 infamy or something like that to try to annex or vassalize them? Yeah. Um, and then we, we had to lose a few provinces. And if I just continued to nibble at my neighbors whenever possible, I think we would have ended up with, um, first of all, we would have solidified our coal and iron in a much better way a lot sooner. Um, and then with the oil, then assuming we would have teched to it a little more aggressively, we would have had access to it maybe a little sooner in Persia without them being turmoiled, right? Because like we've got access to it now, but the building is insanely slow because of the turmoil. So we would have been in a better position to build those rapidly if we had done that. Still, I am um, I had a lot of fun playing the Seek Empire. Other than the fact that, I, uh, yeah, this this kind of, this, this broke my spirit, man. It broke my spirit. And maybe that was guaranteed to happen and would always happen and, you know, it turns out like, no, just don't do that. But I didn't know that. That, that hurt a lot. But otherwise, what a fun little experience. Um, very much looking forward to our next game of whatever that might be. Maybe we swing back over to one of the more uh, major developed powers. Maybe maybe we actually do our, our Belgium Let's Play. Huh? Huh? I mean, we got to at some point, right? Obviously. Part of me wants to play as Canada again, too. That was so much fun. Like, what am I going to do? Just play Canada, Seek, and then Belgium, and just loop through all three of those? No, we'll have to do something else. I know Brazil's got huge power potential, so that could be cool. We'll see. But thanks for watching this whole series. Thanks for watching this extra long video today. And I'll see you next time for whatever that might be. Bye-bye.